All right, guys, uh, this is a probably, hopefully, just a quick little video on um, a little project I've been working on recently. Um, I mean, I say recently, this is actually my lockdown project, which I, um, well, lockdown ended, so I sort of put them all in a cupboard away. But um, yeah, I've been making these things. Uh, I call them pixie tubes because uh, I like Nixie tubes, but these are pixel ones, so they're pixie tubes. Make sense? Um, yeah, this is my uh, simple video bar things. Uh, they're all homemade, all, well, pretty much all supplies straight from China um, for as cheap as you can get them. And, oh uh, well, yeah, this is my first proper testing of uh, four of them together. Uh, as you might be able to hear, we are using the free version of Resolume at the moment, so it lets you know every minute or so that you're using Resolume. Um, the full software is about 800 euros, 700 quid, so don't want to buy that unless there's actual uh, hires for them. Um, but yeah, as you can see, these are pixel bars that are all programmed with their own things. And if we get rid of that, uh, we can have a look at some different effects on them. Boobity boobity, outy outy. Some weird spinning cuby things. Oh, that one needs to be scaled. Mm, yeah, basically, I haven't developed any proper content for them yet. This is just some bog standard shit that you uh, can get offline for free. Um, but you start to see where having four completely different programmable things can. Come on, I mean, you're gonna, you can, I'll let your imagination do the talking. Imagine if you had proper content for these things. Um, they'd be looking fucking sick. Uh, I'm gonna go turn the lights on and show you a bit more about what we've got going on here. So here we are with some lights on. Uh, basically what we're working with is just LED tape. Um, this is the stuff they call pixel tape because obviously it's individually programmable pixels as opposed to one long string of uh, just like single colours like the other ones uh, that you can get. Just do RGB on the whole thing. Um, so I've built these, they're five metres of tape each, so that's five one metre strips, one metre top to bottom, and five wide. So they turn into a 60 tall by five wide LED matrix each. Um, and you can run them as lights if you want, you can build them in Kansas. Um, I'm not the best with Kansas, so building the profile for them was uh, longing me out a bit just because the pixels go from you know bottom to top, back down, you know, they snake up and down the whole way. Um, whereas Kansas, it's really easy if you have them all coming from top to bottom, but that's not how I built them, that's not how I wired them. Um, but yeah, so they all do their flishy flashy things. Um, and I will say this is still very much in of alpha testing mode this is um these are all prototypes i'll rebuild them bigger and better for actual things um, we've got a couple with some dodgy leds i think this one over here has maybe got one squiggly led around the side there i don't know if you see that guy just having a time of his life um, but as i say these are just uh, cheap leds that bought off ebay um off some random chinese supplier um, but yeah, they're all built onto a regular scaff tube, so they fit in any tank trap. Uh, my tank traps are currently not here, they're spread around the country, so that's why they're just leaning against things and on the sofa. Um, but yeah, straight into tank traps. And then, you know, it is standard scaff, so you could clamp more stuff off the top of it if you wanted to. Um, yeah, basically designed to be the least effort, highest impact little video show. Um, and without having to run a shitload of uh, cables everywhere. Um, so they're sort of all designed to run off of a single cable each. Um, and that is just standard 3-pin XLR. It's not running DMX. This is danger cable. If you plug this into anything else, it'll probably blow it up because it's got 12 volt coming down it. Um, but as long as you know what you're doing and you only plug them into these things... It'd be all right. Um, so they've got a single cable each running off them. 
and those will come back here into this little homemade drive rack currently just set up for four outputs um, but might expand in the future uh, you know we've just got power supply this guy's a little art net to uh, whatever the language these things talk is called i can't remember um, but yeah basically i designed and spec this system a couple of years ago built drive rack and these two as just sort of like a proof of concept figured out that it all worked and then went cool put them in the back of the warehouse and didn't look at them for a couple of years so um, now that i'm having to play with them again that's um quite good fun and i reckon they would provide a pretty powerful little light show um the other good thing about this box here is so it's taken artnet in but it also has a dmx universe out so with this little rack on stage um you could run one of your outputs for you know a floor package of lights as well and then you've got these four which uh go to the bars um and yeah so even as four you can see it puts out a pretty decent little show uh, but you know you can always scale this up to more um you could of course always build custom signs custom lettering or anything put this pixel tape on it and it will work absolutely fine with this drive rack this drive rack will just you know accept whatever in and spit it back out again um, but yeah, so we're just one bit of Cat5. It's running over to this guy, which is currently um, hosting Resolume. And uh, yeah, off he goes. Um, so that's my basic rundown of them. Uh, if anybody wants any more information, let me know. Uh, if you want to hire them, let me know, of course. Uh, obviously not quite done, but um, yeah, I reckon with some custom content, like at the moment we're currently literally just watching a band's music video across them, so... They look a bit janky, but, um, you know, even just with that, they do pretty cool stuff. Obviously, once you start getting into custom content and then time coding the whole thing, it'll uh, come together a lot more. But you can see, like, I have not programmed a single bit of lighting or video here. I've literally just loaded in the music video. You put them across these. And you get instant time-aligned... Uh, video content which of course could be better but does a decent enough job on its own I'd say uh, that's enough of that we're gonna get demonetized sorry Actum um, yeah as I say let me know what you're thinking leave some comments and things uh, if you've tried things like this let me know let me know what you've done better what you would change and um, yeah that's uh, these are my pixie tubes Version 1, I guess. Okay, thanks, bye!